So there's some concerning news about Nintendo. We've known Nintendo for years. We're almost all Nintendo fanboys at this point. They're known for making great games that everybody loves. And for the most part, it's usually done without any controversy. Like, when do you ever hear any kind of, like, YouTubers talking about Nintendo games being too SJW or woke or homophobic or anything that you get out of games like Hogwarts Legacy and Horizon Forbidden West and all these new games that come out. Usually, Nintendo comes pretty unscathed, but recently... There's been a job listing for a localization position with Nintendo of America that includes a bullet point with DEI-related topics on it. And anytime I see anything with DEI, I immediately roll my eyes back and I'm like, oh, God, here we go. We've been seeing it with all this Sweet Baby Ink stuff as of late. And it's like every day we're seeing some kind of new company join this fray. And when you see Nintendo of America, which emphasize America, this ain't Nintendo of Japan because Japan seems to steer clear of a lot of this stuff. And honestly, if Nintendo of America is going this route, it's going to be pretty disappointing because, again, Nintendo has always been about making fun, wholesome games that don't offend anybody. All right? They are multi-generational, usually. Parents and kids alike throughout generations and generations and families have been able to enjoy their games. So it's surprising to see them get into this kind of thing, honestly, especially since they tend to keep a low profile when it comes to divisiveness amongst gamers and stuff. So there's this job listing that's found on the Nintendo of America Careers website. It includes requirements like maintaining awareness of culturalization and DEI-related topics. And this raises questions about whether Nintendo is going to start making changes to their games for the American market or what they like to say, modern audiences. Anytime you see a movie or a TV show or a video game do this, they always say it's for modern audiences. It's a modern adaptation, right? And there's been a lot of companies in recent times that have done stuff like this, like Walt Disney, for example. They're like the primary, I guess, guilty party when it comes to going the woke side of things. I I just want to kind of talk about this because it's concerning. Again, like I said, Nintendo games are, for the most part, loved by people of all ages and all backgrounds and all different upbringings, right? They're meant to be enjoyed by families together, and it's nice to see that they've kind of strayed away from keeping any kind of like serious political commentary or agendas or narratives inside their games and stuff. But yeah, let's when it comes to Nintendo, man, they're they're up in hog heaven. The Nintendo Switch selling like hotcakes. All the first party games that they make do very well, and they've just gotten by without any of that stuff. So why would you do this? if you're doing well in the video game market. I mean, it's completely unclear why they would even try to get involved with this DEI stuff and all these DEI-related issues. It, it makes me wonder, like, do they have something that they're brewing up in the near future? Because we, we have rumors of the Switch 2 coming out. Is this because they're going to be having more third-party games and, you know, third-party developers are a little bit more, I guess, political based with some of their games we've seen games like hogwarts legacy be considered homophobic because of the source materials author uh basically is not p uh, uh pc when it comes to certain issues with the lgbt community but we've also seen new games come out come under fire uh, for being a part of Sweet Baby Inc., are they going to go that route and be one of those games that allows a consulting company to come in, or are they just going to do it from within with this localization uh, thing? So looking at this thing on their website, you can see several of these points, this DEI thing is kind of tucked into there. It's literally hidden. It's not even like in the beginning or the end. It's in the middle of all the job listing points. So it's almost like they tried to kind of sneak it in there. And I I'm hoping... They won't go down the path of all these other companies that have been become too focused on modern audiences and progressiveness and all this weird stuff that's considered woke. And I know a lot of you guys don't like that term, woke, being thrown out. But again, Nintendo has always been a multi-generational company. There's games that parents can enjoy with their kids. So it would be a shame, in my opinion, to see them 
change to go that route. Uh, it's just, I don't know. I feel this job listing was a little sneaky. And when you think of like localization, you think of uh, other things that involve marketing the game for an American audience. So I honestly don't know what to pick up in regards to this. When you're looking at this DE, DEI listing right here the bullet for it is the 18th bullet point under the duties and most of the other bullet points don't seem related to anything dei you know there's stuff like translate game text which is obvious when it comes to translation and localization uh translating graphic to assets the voice scripts the marketing materials supplementary development and testing related documents materials required required to support products and services through launch and beyond so for the most part when you think of localization you think of just translating anything that's text based so that we can read it in english right there's also another bullet point that says that it's to uh, play preach production software in Japanese and communicates and clarifies developer intent through text translation and collaboration with other team members. So I, I don't know. Call me ignorant. I'm sitting here wondering why does DEI have anything to do with this, right? Localization, I, I don't see anything that has to do with uh, with any kind of like diversity and thing like that. I, I don't know. I feel that, that they're trying to sneak in something here, possibly. I don't know if maybe I'm looking into it. Um, now, there are other, I guess, diversity, culturalization, awareness programs that Nintendo has at this point. In fact, they have an entire page on their website dedicated to diversity, equity, and inclusion. They have different resource programs on their whole, I guess, employment program. You know, their page does have stuff for Black at Nintendo Dialogue, Rainbow, Nintendo Women and Allies, and uh, a Latin Hispanic network as well. So it's not like there's nothing wrong with having diversity and culturalization at the workplace, but when you're seeing stuff with like DEI being involved when it comes to video game development, it seems to be, these days at least, a little bit of a red flag. Now, this could be an overreaction on people's parts, but I did see a few videos being made talking about this, and I wanted to give my thoughts on it because I've been covering the Sweet Baby Inc. situation here, and I've been playing Nintendo like almost my whole entire life, since like the age of four years old. So to see something have a DEI bullet point tucked in in the middle of their job description, it's a little worrisome for me. I'm not trying to like bring out the red flags too much and say boycott Nintendo, but we got to keep an eye on this. I, I don't see what this has to do with localization. So what do you guys think about this? Please let me know in the comment section down below. Right, what do you think about Nintendo's possible new direction? Is this something to worry about? I don't know. I, I'm, I'm a little worried because of what we've been seeing lately.